Here, I have a list of records, but one thing my team might find useful is if I group records by a particular status. To do this, I'm going to toggle on edit mode using my keyboard shortcut command E and click to surface the builder sidebar. Then under display, I can see that I have the option to group records by a field. And I'm going to choose to group records by the status field. Now I see that records are neatly grouped by their status. I can see the number of records that belong to each group as well. If I go back to the display options here, I see that I have a number of different options for what to do with these groups. Firstly, I can choose to show or hide empty groups. So I have some empty groups at the bottom of my collection here that have no records in that particular status. So I can simply toggle those off there. I can also choose to hide particular groups from showing altogether. For example, if I don't want to show any properties in the pending state, I can simply toggle off that group. I can also decide whether or not a particular group should be expanded or collapsed by default. For example, the under contract group here, I can collapse that by default and the active group as well. So that then when my team come to this particular page, these groups will be collapsed and they can of course click to expand them as they like. Finally, one more thing we can do is enable drag and drop so that you can drag records between groups to update their grouping. This field is toggled on by default. So if I click out of builder mode here, I can simply drag a property from the under contract state into the active properties group. And then the status of that property has been updated. So far, we've seen how grouping records works on the tables views in our NoLoco app, but we can also do it on all other views as well. For example, here I have a list of cards and I'm able to group properties in this collection view as well. Similarly, I can do the same in the Kanban board view, which is particularly helpful. So I could group properties by the status of that property or by another field, such as the neighborhood, for example. Another thing to call out is how grouping works on the calendar and map view. So on the calendars view, we can choose to group records by a particular field if we want to change the color of the events that show in the calendar. So now that I've chosen to group by the status field, those properties with an active listing will appear green on my calendar here, whereas those in a pending state will appear purple. And similarly for map views, we can choose to group records by a particular field to update the color of the map pins. Here again, I see that actively listed properties will now show up as green and pending properties again will show up as purple pins on the map. So that's how you can easily group records in collection views in your Noloco app to help your team stay organized.